Why, hello there. How are you? Oh, I'm getting hellos already. Welcome to the Housebroken Geek Show. I am the aforementioned Housebroken Geek. Pip, hi. Time for another Spooktober installment of this. And it's time to say hello to some people already. Hello, Zelka. I knew you would be here. Hello, Light Ninja. Uh, Grace and Girl, dude, W2F ads. Is this YouTube? Good evening. Well, I have an update on that. Uh, oh, you're an influencer. You can arrive late. Uh, I, well, admittedly, I was doing setup and it overran. So that's, well, I'm roughly on time. Okay. Volume's kind of low. V what volume of my voice? Uh, I can move it up. Is that better? Is that better? Yana AOA, what's it? Oh no, it's fine now. Yeah, it's like, okay, I'm getting conflicting reports. I'm just gonna keep talking. Uh, my mic levels, I think are okay. I'm just adjusting them right now. Frame has gone to his head now, so get ready for pizza, Sean's ship out every three seconds. Right, so, yeah, I'm not nervous about this session at all. Um, do you remember last week we established, uh, went around checking all the doors were locked? Um, before coming up here. Uh, well, not only did I do that, it seems at some point before coming up, I accidentally put the burger alarm on. So I went downstairs, walked into the living room, alarm went off, scared the shit out of me. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, fame has gone to his head now, so get ready for the pizza shirt sponsorship ads every three sex. Doing sexy photos in his pizza dressing gown. On his only, f I've not quite got to the level of needing only fans yet um okay before we begin just some little bit of admin um spiders are stealing your shit bro <laughs> you are the only one that remembers that joke from my stand-up set years ago including me bless you you don't need to waste the brain cells doing that let me move the mic closer maybe that will help anyway i adore that joke good i'm glad um okay so i had trouble sleeping Thursday night when we after we did part one of this which is Doki Doki Literature Club not because of the well maybe a little bit because of the underlying thing that something is about to go down <laughs> very rapidly but it's also because uh, during that stream I hit all all of the marks needed to get affiliate um, in just over three weeks I did not expect that to happen. That happened way faster than I intended. Um, and I was just a little bit overwhelmed. And I got a bit gushy on Twitter and my socials. But I genuinely mean it. Just um, thank you to everyone. You know, we only have a finite amount of time on this planet. And you're choosing to spend some of it to watch my bullshit. And I really appreciate it. You deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> Must load to accept compliments. Thank you. Um, so with that, uh, and I promise I'm not going to do it too much because I'm not a shill. I'm informed uh, you can now subscribe to my channel in addition to following. Uh, there's a button down there. Um, if you have a Twitch, if you have a Prime account connected to your Twitch, you can subscribe to me for free. Uh it will help support the channel and keep money away from Jeff Bezos. So think of it that way. I think that's his name. But I'm in the process of sorting out some emotes and stuff and generally learning how to use this Twitch stuff properly. But I suppose the main thing I wanted to say was I'm going to continue doing this because you all guys seem to like it, whether you subscribe, follow or whatever. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you a lot. Um, I had no real plan going into this. Let, let's see where we go. Let's get October out of the way in the spooky games. And yeah, yeah, just, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching this. I really, really appreciate it. In terms of this, uh, for anyone new, why would you be jumping in at part two? I, I, I don't know. Um, this is Doki Doki Literature Club. 
Uh, point one. May contain material deemed triggering. So this is a trigger warning. Uh, don't know entirely what it'll trigger, but it says depression and anxiety. If you have that and you are not comfortable with that sort of content, I won't lie, I'm not, but I'm playing it, so it'll be fine. Thank you for tuning in. Please follow and subscribe and see you next time. If not, we're going to continue. Point two. Spoilers. No spoilers, please. Um, got a bit dicey last week. I lie, I didn't manage it in the best way. Um, yeah, anything kind of spoilerific, I'm sorry. Y'all going to get banned or muted or I will figure it out as we go. Uh, because can I mute a person by just... Yes, I... Um, I'd, I'll figure out how to mute someone. Uh, the, oh, oh god, I'm opening stuff. Um, oh yeah, no, I can time out people. Cool. Any any sub, any shenanigans like that will result in a timeout or a ban. Because this is my first time playing it. I do have people lurking in the chat who are aware of stuff. Um, and will alert me. And I will pay attention to them this time. So I'm sorry I didn't do that last time. So uh, I don't know how to unclick that. Ow. Sod it. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So how about we get on with the Doki Doki Literature Club. If I, I'm trying... To, I've clicked on a name to see if I can... There we, there we go. There we go. I'll put it back. Luna Woolby. Hey, hey. Hey. Welcome. We're literally about to start. You've just missed the trigger warning. I hope you're okay with that. So, how about... I've got my tea. I've got water. I am prepared. What's up? Hey, Froggery. Yep. Skeldon did have a name badge, but it keeps falling off. Oh, hi, Pip. Look, I know who the sh true star is. It's It's... It's Skeldon. Just catching people up. Uh, I'm an affiliate now. I love you all. Thank you very much. Subscribe if you want. Doesn't matter if you don't. I'm going to learn how to use Twitch better to make it worthwhile. Bring on the slaughter. <laughs> and Rizabine, here we go. Okay, so how, tell you what. How about we... Sh Let's just crack on. Uh, jump into you and James Who Games. Oh, well, I appreciate you jumping. Uh, what's James Who Games playing? Uh, will we get a tea break again? Probably. I might need one. So let's get on uh, with the. Uh, I, I I don't know how this got here. Uh, oh oh oh. Sh you saw nothing. Okay, let's crack on. There's a game. And let's get you some sound. So you can hear this pleasant plinky plunky music. Okay. So when we laugh left our adventure, Pipu, who is a dick, had joined the literature club. Finished my oh, Light Ninja, finished my slab of gammon. Good. Inherit eat the flesh of the pig and gain its power. Uh, yes, uh, Pipu, who is our avatar in this, is a dick. He got lured into joining a poetry club. Uh, Yari is my one true love. Nothing will go wrong. Um, and w was it we're doing a recital performance thing? So that's where we are. So uh, let's continue. So we are jumping in literally where we stopped it. So uh, let's uh, let's get back to this. She knows exactly how to apply motion behind each line. She recites, bringing the words to life. I assume she's speaking about my one true love. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance round at me. 
Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Well, she's she's the baddest bitch, so of course they do. Sayori so looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. Ahaha. Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll I'll go next. Yes, you will, Yuri, because you are the best. Ah, ah. Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. So let's get into poetry mode. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? Goth girls about rap, y'all quiet down. What? Goth girls like poetry. This is natural. You leave, you leave my one true love alone. As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates, enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Oh, do we not hear the poem? Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she's bewildered, even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start I'm, I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Ellipses. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Suri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah, ah ha ha ha. Sorry, I giggled. She's adorable. He he he. Suri, it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it will come out the it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Siori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. That's a bit dickish, Pipu. Like, but you know, on point. That's you. But hearing it come from Siori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Siori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it. Good job, Sayori. Eh, even Pipu liked it. 
I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. So I'm just going to turn the game audio down a little bit. Here. Is that, yeah, is sound level's okay? Just checking. If it's not, just yell at me. Back into the scene. That's better. Cool. Hey, Easy Magic. Welcome. Hope you are well. Oh, I know what you mean. Can you see him? Too sweet for life. Hey, hey, can you see him? How are you doing? You finished Resident Evil, I see. Well, that's what I've been practicing, that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. Eh, hey, hey, hey. Then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before Pipu. It's not like I could compare to you guys anyway. Sure you can, Natsuki. You, Natsuki, are an excellent baker. And Pipu is dick, as we've established. Stop undercutting yourself. <laughs> Might as well let Pipu lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. I was just, I was just nice to her. Natsuki. Ugh, Natsuki. See, I tried to pay her a compliment and she immediately ruins it. I'm going to have a little slurp of tea. Oh, okay. oh, sorry. Can you see him? I'm good, man. All done. Got another mod on the go now. Cool. Hope you're well. I'm okay. I'm preparing myself for trauma. Uh, dodging spoilers okay so far so everyone's been really well behaved your fave bullet club member too sweet um i'm gonna be really pretentious and old school and just go prince devitt the founder the founding leader either that or uh tamatonga because he's just hilarious on twitter uh so natsuki it's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. Do you ever get to see the poems we write uh, together? Because I enjoy doing that with, with my beloved chat. I, I stand up and step in front of the podium. Nope. Oh, oh well. I, I, I know it's awesome because we did it together. So, I don't need to hear it, I guess. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I have said, oh, nice man. I have said, Kenny man, love him so much. So, brief summary of what this is. This is, uh, this is Doki Doki Literature Club, and it's totally uh, a anime manga dating sim and not a psychological horror game. Totally not that. to continue. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. Oh god, it's like she's talking straight at me. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Pizza Kimono is back. Hey, it's magic. Pizza Kimono is never going away. This is my second skin. Totally. It's classy. 
maybe a pizza kimono emojis on the way you don't know pizza hoodie is so cool oh God. I'm I'm not I'm not engaging with you Frog and Re. you know what it is you cheek you cheeky devil you it's a, it's a kimono so yeah itchy there we go all right yeah maybe all right then Feed <laughs> Light Ninja, feed us. Oh. Feed the trolls. I'm not giving you ammunition to shoot at me. <laughs> Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsukingly. Natsukingly? Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called. It's called. Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Oh, R.I.P. Van Halen. Matsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little uninfused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme. It's Nasuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Oh god, the poem's alive. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. So, what is Natsuki's problem? But when it's just my friends... Oh, we're her friends! Oh, that's, that's sad. It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way round for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case... You won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? Okay, S sorry, one second. I think that's muted. I've just stopped it a little minute because I just want to highlight I've got my first ever subscriber. And it's Yana, AOA. Thank you very much for your subscription. Th that's lovely. Uh, she subscribed with her Prime account for free. Thank you. You will always forever hold a place in my heart, Yana. And you know what I'm going to do? I've decided I was going to do this. Yana. You figured out to do the thing. You're learning quicker than me. Yep, Yana. Eh, eh, eh. You. I'm going to post it on the wall of honor next to Skeldon. That's for you. Your, that's, that's your subscription reward until I learn out how to do emojis and emotes and stuff. Oh, that was a bit, Yeah, so thank you. Uh, oh, God, words coming in. Uh, amazing, I'll do it now too. How do we do the thing? You need to link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and then when you click subscribe rather than pay money there's the option to do it for free um only annoying thing is it's only a monthly thing so you have to refresh it every month i'm told uh we have our second one all right oh god we're having a rush please could we have a skeldon emote i'm so proud of that name well maybe i've maybe i've asked one of my artist friends to do one so 
Yep, you need Amazon Gaming, which is included in your Prime, and you link it up and you can click it for free. I'm sorry the game's paused at the minute, but this is important. I need to reward my subscribers, so there. Mark. Right next to Yana. There you go. The wall of honor grows. Thank you for your subscription, the Light Ninja. You are the wind beneath my wings. And also, I guess, you know, you owe it me since all this is your fault. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Right. On with the game. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for that brief intermission. Uh, let us get back into the flow of things. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Ah, uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. Oh, we do get to write more poems. Hooray. Oh, I forgot to read that bit. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday is the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. That's okay. You're sweet. You'll be fine. Let my love power you through. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, why am I trying to impress Monica? Yari is my one true love. Ooh. I can spend points to make my message more obvious, apparently. Better use them well. Willies. <laughs> yes, the Light Ninja. Good good use of resources there. I approve. It's always worth screaming willies at someone. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Eh hey, hey, hey. Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Sliffer1979. Yo, yo, yourself. Welcome. Well, uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Pipu. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. Such a dick. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Laura, let's firstly, hi Laura, you alright? Yes, best use of highlighted message ever. I thoroughly approve. I'm not being sarcastic about that. More willies. More willies for everyone. Hey, Sayori. Dot, dot, dot. One does one's best. Light Ninja, you always do your best. You're great. Ellipses. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Hmm. Hello, I have been here since the start. Oh, sorry, I, I thought you just tuned in. Uh, I think you must have missed my hello. Probably. It's it's all coming in thick and fast. Well, hello again. Thank you for being here. Uh, I was thinking... I was, dot, 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 thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I, I mean, Sayori fumbles with her words. Yeah, Sayori seems... Uh, yeah, a bit distracted. Sayori fumbles with her words. So... Let's just, uh, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Go on. Huh? 
What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Well... I must choose one. I mean, it's not much of a choice, considering as discussed in the last... In the last section, yeah, Yuri, honestly, Yuri, everyone's yelling Yuri. Look, as discussed, we're following on the big dick energy from my Resident Evil 7 playthrough. We're doing what Ethan would do, which is, yeah, we're going, yes, that's right, Zell, we're going with big titty goth girls. So, I would walk home with Yuri. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? And do other things pound? Mm. I mean, given how hard it, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down. So, yes, that's the reason. Completely the reason. Also, one thing I learned earlier from the uh, lovely Frog and Ree is Doki Doki is uh, a Japanese term for what represents the sound a beating heart makes. So, there you go. <laughs> you give her dead pity walks. Yes, that is totally what I'm doing. And no, and, and pity anything else that she wants to do. So... Not gonna lie, I feel bad for Siori. I always feel bad for Siori. She's so spunky. Did you not know that Doki Doki is like in old girly manga? Well, I don't read girly manga, so no, sorry. I'm I'm uneducated, obviously, in the ways of the Doki Doki. Isn't she so beautiful and smart? Yes. That has nothing to do with what I just said. He make my heart go doki doki. Or oh, listen, you need to listen to baby metal. I'm aware of baby metal. Uh, yeah, I've never actually sat down and properly listened to him. I obviously need to uh, do that. Ah ha ha, you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. Ooh, yeah, baby metal are the best, BMC is where you want to go for them. Okay, okay, I will I will add them to my Spotify list if they are on Spotify. I will give them a listen. I promise. I will report back. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know. I won't need you, dot, dot, dot. Uh, they recently released a music video for it. Rob Zombie is a fan. That's enough of a recommendation for baby metal to me. Yeah, Rob Zombie is a, is a man of a, of a fine taste. Sayori, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry, everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Damn straight. Hmm? If you say so, the conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. Pipu, man. I don't like this anime version of me. He's a dick. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Drink some tea. Oh, poetry time. Right. So, uh, if you didn't tune in last week, how this works is we're going to write this together. So, I will go with the first word, and then you guys pop in with whichever word we should follow it next. Uh, who, like, the first word I see is what I will go with um, when I ask for it. Um, and remember, we're trying to appeal to the big titty goth girl of my dreams. So I'll choose the first word, then we'll need one from chat. Hive mind, activate. So, misfortune. Next word. Have you noticed that the girls jump when you click words that they like? 
I did not notice that. That makes this a hell of a lot easier. All right. Okay, so, uh, Froggery, vanilla. Uh, hmm. Philosophy. Next. Next word. Horror. Uh, climax. Next word. Hurt. Uh, dazzle. Next word. Dream. Uh, passion. Next word. Willies. Willies is not a word. Otherwise, this would just be 20 willies. Sorry. Sorry, Yana. Festa. Where's Festa? There you are. Together. Next. Poof. Uh, tears. Next. Twenty willies of Pippo's tail. <laughs> Scars. Uh, vertigo. Next word. Pain. Melancholy. Next. <sighs> Massacre. Embrace. Next word. In fact, last word. Eggs is not a word, Froggery. <laughs> Desire. I think that is a wonderful piece of art. And in fact, I am going to save it. I don't know why. I'm just going to be a bit more careful as we go on. Also, just a good idea if it crashes. That's a Yuri Thirst poem if I ever saw one. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah. Saving seems like a good plan, yes. Always rotate your saves. For anything. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah! Ah ha ha! You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. Rommel is also super enjoying this, by the way. Oh, I'm glad! I'm glad this sort of thing appeals to cats. Especially awesome cats such as Rommel. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Aha! Uh -huh. I can't wait for the festival. Oh, she's actually excited about something. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Uh, Natsuki. 
Yeah. Ernasuki. That needs to be on a shirt. Just Ernasuki. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Well, fried squid is delicious. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? The Light Ninja, practicing piano. Oh, is that what she's up to? Oh, good. more power to her. Practice makes perfect and all that. You of all people. Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Can I make a suggestion of turning the mic up a bit? I've got mic up on full. Um, what I might do, because to be honest, I'm not using the keyboard in this game, is bring it a bit closer to my mouth, if that helps, uh, and turn the game audio way down. Is that better? See, the setup was okay last time. I guess doing um, uh, Life's a Pitch yesterday has messed up my setup somehow. Don't know. Sorry about that. I hope this you still hear the plinky plonky music, but I'm coming in okay. Putting it closer to the mouth always helps. That what I that's what I keep telling people. The game is very quiet. Uh, I'll turn it up a bit more. Is that okay? Sensual breathing time. Mm. I'll say I've got my setups on this other monitor so I can change things. Lol, you're not going to win the sound battle or this game because, yeah, I don't think I'm going to win either. So, right, we shall continue. Please yell if it is, you know, not good again. I'll see what I can do. Both. Much better. Thank you. I'm, I'm willing to accept that. That's fine. This is going to be a problem when I'm doing first-person shooters, but, you know, that's that's a problem for future Pip. Screw that guy. Right. It's right in your name. Mon Ica. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Obviously, because I, I don't get it, so... Does that count as a fourth wall break? I am not sure. Mm, possibly. Ellipses. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Eh hey, hey. Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Siori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Siori anyway? Oh, there you are. Siori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Siori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Aha. Uh -huh. Eh, eh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. You know what they say about assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sarah shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. Snowvex, hi! How you doing? Welcome to this. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Siori before turning back towards everyone else. Rebel Robin, hey! Welcome. Welcome, newcomers, to the fun of Doki Doki. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. 
I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Pipu, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Siori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Siori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the only one asking you, Pipu. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. We have another subscriber! Hazy Magic has subscribed! Hey! Thank you! Hold on. Let's do this properly. Thank you for your subscription. Uh, I hope I'm worthy of it. Guess what happens now? I pause the game to do some bullshit. Yay, I did it, you did, and no one, no one appreciates it more than me. You're up there. Right next to Skeldon, so, thank you. So, okay, if I subscribe, do I get a little heart on my post-it? I don't see why not. I can, I can facilitate that for you. I'm going to keep these here just in case. Luna Wolf B, I'm still trying to work it out. <laughs> Two hearts. Yeah, why not? I'll treat you. Right, let's get back to the fun. Boop. I had to get my laptop out and everything. Gee, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause you so much work. Uh, I'm really not worth that much of it. <laughs> you certainly know a lot. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. I <laughs> shall not be defeated. No, you won't. You you kick that lap. You kick Twitch's ass. If I resubscribe, will you post me a heart? Oh, <laughs> game stops again. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> like a human one. I can't fit that on a post, dude. Spell my name right. <laughs> Pressure's on. Jesus. It's so demanding. Uh, Luna will wear Google Gable Prime. Do you can do it through that link. If you're not already Prime, it goes through with you. Then you click your Twitch. So look, there. You get three hearts. No. There you go. On the wall of honor. So there we go. Thank you very much your monthly subscription. I'm truly not worthy of it. Thank you. Right. Game. We got game back. Yeah, but she's never really like this. Next stop is to make you my husband. Go on. Under the gaze of Commissar Skeldon. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's continue, chat. Pipu, she always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. I've done that and it's not linking up. Gah! Luna Woolbay, keep, keep going. I believe in you. Uh, ask uh, Hazy Magic how to do it. She defeated it fairly recently. 
Yeah, soon we can use the post-it notes to give Skeldon a bikini. <laughs> well, he he did have a name badge, but it keeps falling off, so I might have to get him a proper one. Gareth is going to go poke it into submission now. That is what Gareth is good for, poking things into submission. He's a badass like that. Right. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Well, my purpose in life. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is, Rizabin. Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person... With the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Pipu. Me? How on... Excuse me. Sorry. Not very professional. How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sora talks about you more than anything else, you know? Uh, Hazy Magic, I signed on Twitch and Amazon, then hit gift as sub button. When I rolled to the bottom, it had an option to subscribe myself. Yes, I think that's how you do it. Won't lie. It took me ages to figure out to subscribe to other people as well. It's very obtruse. And if, if you think subscribing's hard, try using this thing. God, I, but then again, me no computer good at the best of times. I have so much to learn in a very short space of time. So, uh, Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Why? I'm a dick. Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside her. What? No way. Siore is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. We have another subscriber. Rebel Robin. Thank you for your subscription. You are lovely. Your prime trip. You're there. I'm getting overwhelmed here. <laughs> Managed to do it. Yes, you did. You are a hero. And no one more appreciate. We've got two. Oh, God. I need more post-it notes. <laughs> okay. Let's take a breather and take this in. Okay. Rebel. Rebel Robin. There you go. And next. <laughs> Luna Wolby. You go there. Thank you, guys. You are wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, I think collectively we can make Pip cry tonight. Cry possibly. Run out of post-it notes? No, because I have this. <laughs> You're welcome to try. Yeah, I won't lie. Get a little bit overwhelmed. Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on. You guys, um... <sighs> Progonry, you are wonderful, thank you. Guys, these are very good Twitch Twitches as well. You should give them a follow. They're very good. Oh, and you go on the wall. Thank you. Can you see him? This is awesome, dude. Much congrats. Th I don't know how this is happening, but you're wonderful. Thank you. Uh, we could say... Okay, hold on. 
Can you do a heart on mine? Yes. There you go. On the wall. Right, because we're all rubbish at tech, and we've just worked it out, because your kimono is fabulous. Thank you. Wait, where are you? For that wonderful comment, Luna B, you get to go slightly higher on the wall. Because it is a kimono, you're right. Uh, because your kimono is fabulous. I don't want to sound like a tight, but does it cost extra to add Prime to game Twitch? Uh, no, because it's included in your Prime already. Like, you can just, you you tie it together. It's, you don't pay anything extra, I assure you. Laura Lation. <laughs> I have to quickly write it before name scroll. Laura. La On the wall. Hey, hey, up, hey, up. I'm okay. I'll have a go at pronouncing that. Skurjil six eight seven official. Like, hey, hey, up. Hi. I'm not pandering on this gov. You pander away. I don't mind. Uh. We aren't going to finish this game. Probably not, but it's your own damn faults for being so lovely and supportive. Uh, the mushrooms are there just to put the Ono oh in the kimono. Like it. I want to go on the wall. You are on the wall. You're there. Grayson girl is... I'm sorry, I'm catching up with just a flood of words. Gray... I'll go... Right. <sighs> Grayson girl. And I drew a little rommel head, even though it looks like a mouse, because it's a really thick pen. Right. Thank you very much for your Prime subscription. I appreciate it. How I get on wall? You get on wall by subscribing. This is my wall of honor for subscribers. Uh, yep, get on the wall with subs. You do. Um, it's just JJ, Lo. Uh, tenth sub. <laughs> Right, gotta go, my friend. Have a great stream. Thank you, Laurelish, for dropping in. Really appreciate your subscription, and I appreciate you. Thank you. See you. Have a sweet good night. Woo, Rommel. Yes. I'm caught up. <laughs> caught up. Right, I think that's everyone. Is that everyone who should be on the wall? That's everyone. Okay. I will open the shit out of this. You open the shit out of everything, Yana. Okay. So. Let's get back to this absolutely innocent dating game. You. You know what? It's half eight. I'm just going to have a little. I'm going to have a little break for reasons. I will be back in a minute. <laughs> One minute.
I, sorry, just needed a bit of a uh, break there, because you might have broke, but you know, I have tea, I hope you two have tea, you have tea too, right, let's catch up with some stuff, yeah, breaks, um, so with the Prime sub, it is one freebie per month. Yes, uh, you get to subscribe to a channel for free. Uh, it's only a month, though, annoyingly. So you have to keep coming back every month and resubscribing to, well, whoever you want. It's like a freebie that you can have. Um, Choo Choo, I received a level two hype train emote. Cool. I, I don't know what that is, but thank you, uh, whoever gave me that. Uh, uh, my job is to my job is to tech and this confused the life out of me. Yeah, I've had to learn a lot in a very short space of time. Um, uh, I think Pip should do pizza kimono merch. <laughs> let's let's walk before we can run. I barely, you know. Uh, I, uh, firstly, I need to get some emotes. I I need to make your subscriptions actually worth it. So I'm going to go out. Uh, I've already inquired with a lovely art friend of mine to get some emotes done. Uh, and maybe I might be talking to someone in this chat about a better logo on some various things. I wonder who that could be. Uh, Amazon be the devil. Yes. But they're so convenient. Like all evil. Uh, I would buy a pizza kimono with his face on it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. Um, imagine if you went to the kitchen and Yuri was there making tea. <laughs> Choo choo. Oh, so you got Pepsi Max. Hazy stole mine. She, she does do that. Rizabine, I don't know why, but I feel the need to get a scan and make a pip bobblehead for my desk. I've only been doing this for like nearly four weeks. I think we're a long way before I bless the world with a bobblehead. One day, maybe. Uh, but I'm not going to stop you, you know. Uh, yes, yeah, so. Yes, I see. Okay, so I'll inquire about the bobblehead at some point. Ser you guys seriously are wonderful. And that's why not only are you on the wall, you're in my heart as well. Well, you and Yuri. Speaking of which, let's get back to Doki Doki. There's some sound, and here's a game. And let's get me some sound. I need the music. Quick to merch stores to figure it out. If you figure it out, please feel free to tell me. We are the OG Pip fans. Grayson Girl, I think possibly you're my number one fan generally out of all the live gigs i've done other than my mum no not even my mum and dad i think you have been to most of them so i do need to make you a little badge or a hat let me know what you'd prefer the pizza kimono needs to be immortalized somehow well i'm wearing it what more immortalization do you need i'm indeed rounding up sheep badge <laughs> okay i'll make you a badge i feel that we should have t-shirts Merch is my job. I can arrange things. Oh god, this is all happening so fast. I'm getting overwhelmed. We'll talk. But right now, let's carry on. Ryze has, <laughs> Ryze has plans afoot. I'll be your PR manager. Oh god. Uh, I need water. Uh. and take candid photos of you. What kind of photos? Hmm. And and there's some offer hats. Yeah. Anyway. God, you're wonderful. Oh. I want 10% of money for absolutely no reason. You know what? I'm in such a good mood and that overwhelmed. Why not? You can have it. Uh, Arugaru, I think we would all appreciate... I heart your shirts. Hats with ginger beards attached. Like, uh, you know, you could get those Scottish bonnets with the ginger hair on the back, but the front. Yeah, that'd be cool. We'll still aren't to the spoop yet. 
pit beards. Well, you, you know, you you can you can wear the fake pit beard all you want, but it'll never be as good as the real thing. I'm sorry, it's genetic, because I am part of a dying race of gingers. <sighs> God, this is killing me. Okay. Love you. Pip has no times for games now. His fans need it. I'm on the verge of turning this into a just chatting. Because you are just wonderful. Okay. Everyone immediately have Pip's babies. God, I wish someone would have them. They're taking up so much room in my basement. Um, group hug. <laughs> God, I miss you all so much. I know I know some of the people in the chat. God, I miss you. And, and people. Well, some people, generally. Anyway. Focus. Focus. Cuddle puddle. Cuddle puddles are the best. Focus. Right. Pipu. Remember? Yes. What are we doing? I don't know. Where am I? I'm going to have a tea. Hold on. No, I'm not, because that is like lava. Okay, put that back. I'll get the cuddle puddle blow up bed. Really. You need, no, you need a proper mattress for a proper cuddle puddle. It needs to be hard. Right. It's not any different now than it always has been. Markedly better than struggle, snuggle, struggle cuddles. It, that's something entirely different. We need a tent. Eh, heh, heh, heh. You're so funny, Pipu. He's really not. He's a dick. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Oh my. Ellipses. I can provide. I really like where this is going in the chat. Hmm. It's a round air bed. It fits a three meter bell tent perfectly. Just saying. Thank you, little <laughs> Wolby. We might, we might need it, and you know, I just hope it could be wiped down afterwards. Carry it on, <laughs> Monica. Ah, I said too much. Get in the tent. Yes. I don't know why, but she reminds me of Kazumi from Dead or Alive. I've been getting. Thank you, Froggery. I was thinking of someone. It is reminding me of someone. I think it's the hair and bow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kazumi from Dead or Alive. Totally. Sliffer. Hot tub. Mm. Right. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? How to play piano, apparently. Glad it's not just me. It's, it, it was bothering me for a while. It reminded me of someone, and you've freed my brain so thank you for that tent with cuddle puddle and hot tub outside indeed that it that just sounds like a fun weekend to me hope we can do that again at some point when society resumes uh i didn't mean to jump to conclusions so you should just forget about what i said i'll try to talk to her so try not to think about it for now ah all right monica smiles meaningfully I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. It shall be done! Good. Awesome. That's something to look forward to. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Is that a dickish statement? It, it comes across as dickish. Uh, or I just, I, yeah, my anime self is a bit of is a bit of a dick. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the only I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Ooh, suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away, just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. 
I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in and, and sit in one next to her own. Ellipses. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell what I was think th that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot, so it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. She's so smart. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are the only concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Ah, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? S sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have been friends for, s for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Pipu. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah, so you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm, I think that Siori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I notice her strange behaviour today too, and I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I, uh, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Ellipses. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I invert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold, even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. Th that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. You really are. I'm a pretty simple guy. You really are. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Aha. Uh -huh. That's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well... As long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Ellipses. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. Oh, excuse me. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Siori. Who should I show my poem to first? Okay, chat, again, who should we go for? I know Yuri is the obvious choice, but I like to throw it open to the floor. Yeah, yeah, Yuri's, yeah. 
she, she's the obvious choice but you know i just wanted to check that we're on the same wavelength you know so yeah yuri okay let's go Boop. ellipses ah ellipses then the bad b goth yeah decided to try something different today i guess so is that good or bad well neither I have my preferences, but it would be unfair of me to call something good or bad based on that. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing, and I have the most advice to share. Is that so? Ellipses. Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri? It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. Nice recovery. Very good. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? being disliked. Yuri. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Yes. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Let me get into the bard. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of earth chaotically meets the surface under a clear blue sky an expanse of bliss but beneath grey rolling clouds an endless enigma the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found one can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet but where the sand is wet the tide comes Will it gently lick at you? Uh, look, lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down into the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sand castles. Oh, I am so getting you to read me some Shakespeare. Won't lie, kind of channeling uh, Stephen Toast a little bit. Better a witty fool than a foolish wit. Yeah. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles. Where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my peace to erode at the shore, drift forward, and I return to Earth evermore. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Yeah. Swoon. You know it. Um. Foamy. <laughs> of course, Yada, you would pick up on foamy tendrils. I did as well. I didn't know it was that type of game. I might get banned. Right. I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Gotta love a foamy tendril. They are the best tendrils, to be fair. Poo poo. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well... <laughs> so, Froggery, Phoby Tendril is my K-pop metal band. <laughs> yeah, that's you, you can use that. That's all yours. Enjoy. I'd listen to you. It was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So, Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. 
Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Cool. Uh, who did we say next, weren't it? It was Baddest... Baddest B Monica, weren't it? Okay, well, someone's yelling Siori, but I'm sure we already decided it was Monica. No, I'm happy to go Sayori. Would people prefer Sayori? I am concerned about Sayori. Maybe she would... No, we said bad B. Okay. We... I'll flip a coin. Do I have a coin? I don't have a coin. No, okay. Tell you what. We'll go bad B, then we'll go Sayori. Although I'm not overly precious. Yes, you are. Precious to me. Uh, yeah, we will go. We'll go Monica, then Sayori, and then uh, Nasuki. So there we go. Hi, Pipu. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Aww. Ha ha ha. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands that I wish I could read, but we can't. Dot dot dot. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah, well... We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Ah ha ha, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell she likes exploring with emotions. I did not finish that line. My f ah, damn thing. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Nasuki is only nickname. Ugh, Nasuki is her full name. You are right, Arugaro. I've, yeah, that's canon now. We'll go with that. The name's Nasuki. Ugh, Nasuki. Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. The lady who knows everything. Oh, it's a... It's a hmm. I'm not, I was going to finish that sentence. I'm not going to finish that because it will come and bite, and bite me in the bum. <laughs> the lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders the earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning. All purpose. And all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of wind. Day after day, I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky until one day the wind ceases to blow I fall and I fall and fall and I fall even more gentle as a feather a dry quill expressionless 
all that remains an actual band pretty top notch cool uh i'll i'll add them to the list as well along with baby metal yeah yeah i've got homework the poem but a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger the hand of a beautiful lady I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking, but before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Cool daddy-o. Okay, so that had slight menacing undertones. I'm not the only one that sees that, right? I mean, I know poetry is quite interpretive. And, and all that jazz but uh, yeah okay right it's quite menacing ain't it yes it is oh I'm picking up on that that is my personal interpretation ah tea tea cures all let us continue you know I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. Yana. Bad B is doing a hecking menace. Yes, she is. I'm so glad I'm not the only one picking up on that. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Hmm. Aha! Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. Uh, so, when we're allowed to mingle again, I have a spooked over fancy dress party so we can all come dressed as Bad B Monica. Uh, yeah, sounds like a plan. A Bad B Monica party, like it. You mean one dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ready? Are you ready to learn? Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you've put so much into. But if you find other people enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Pip has to come as Yuri. That'd be a bit weird to dress as my one true love, but... Interesting. Yeah. Luna Wolf. Well, I have the boobs for it. That's for about it. Hey, don't, don't underestimate your boobs. They're top notch. I have the hair colour for it. I am so there, unfortunately. I am not from the UK. We'll webcam you we'll web we'll webcam you in, Snowvex, it'd be fine. Just make sure you in fact that's an advantage, you only have to dress from the waist up. Actually I'll come dressed as Pip. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Be like a mirror. I wanna go as Seori. Not a sentence I thought I would say. Okay. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good okay or bad they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on i'll wear a pizza dressing gown okay yes you wear a pizza dressing gown if you can find one monica it's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving pizza dress shirts for all <laughs> oh god I, I i love you all but also go screw yourselves It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. 
We broke him. Why are you saying it like it's a good thing? Don't break me. Pizza Komodos with Pip's face on them for all. <laughs> Only took two and a bit streams. I, I, um, I forgot the witty banter thing I was going to say, but I, I stand, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not broken. I'm not, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Touch wood. Right. I'm not going to let you win. <laughs> anyway. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Super. And now, Sayori. Our bestest friend. Ellipses. Hmm? It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well. Snowvex, don't break Pip. Yeah, please don't. I'm irreplaceable. That's what my mum says. Well. You don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Oh god, you can see right through me. Probably Yuri. Get out of my head, woman. Eh. We can Twitch stream it and chat to you. The party is not breaking Pip. He's a delicate flower. <laughs> I am a delicate, strong flower. I, I am the fortress with which the waves of eternity crash on. That's why I was trying to remember. Wasted now. Would have been so much cooler if I said it first time. Pipu, I didn't write this for anyone specifically, you liar. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. Rebel Robin, like a hibiscus. Exactly. I'm a badass hibiscus. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Pipu. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. Eh heh heh. Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. I think he's more of a tulip. Is that a good or a bad thing? I don't know much about flowers. I've been to Holland. Holland's nice. Bitter ballin'. Mm, very good. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. That's very passive-aggressive. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Okay, that's worrying, because we usually walk home together and I didn't get to read her poem. Something's wrong with uh, our friendo there. Okay, finally, last and definitely least uh, is it's uh, Nasuki. Ellipses. Damn, I love bit and ball, and I'm so hungry now. Yeah, I, I have looked this side of the, uh, of the channel. I can't find decent bit of ball in here. I want, if anything, I want to go back uh, purely for bit and ball and, and also uh, the the cod they do with spices in it. I can't remember what it's called. It's like fricker, not fricadellans, but something similar to that. You can find some good stroop waffles, though. You can, you can find stroop waffles. Uh, they are about the place, like Starbucks. Uh, this one's all right. All right. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. Profigets for me. Nom. Luda Woolbe. Remind me what they are. I'm sure I've had them. But I can't remember what profiget profigets are. Uh, I see what you're going for, but it's really not my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Group tripped at Netherlands, then. One society, if one, if there's a Netherlands left, if there's anything left, 
Sure. Uh, I would love that. Tiny Dutch... Yes, the Tiny Dutch Pancakes. Yes, they, yeah, they're lovely. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm hungry now. Let's, yeah, we should, we need to go back to the Netherlands. It was wonderful. Very flat. Uh, I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. The name of my Dutch metal band. What, Tiny Dutch Pancakes? <laughs> Again, valid. I'd listen to it. Well, of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? There's boats in Fallout, we'll be fine. Cool. Yeah, we'll just dose up on Rad X and we'll narrow boat over, it'll be fine. Still need to make some. You do. I agree with this plan. No, gross. It's not like I care. I think she does. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. What? R really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. Time to sail over and raid Netherlands. Let's see how they like it. Yeah, we've come for your snacks and tasty treats. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Oh! In your face! Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. You so weren't, Pipu. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. Yeah, what a bitch. Yeah. Ah ha 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 ha. Ellipses. How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurts. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. <laughs> Hazy magic slapper. Yeah, I... Mouse cursor doesn't count. Damn it. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever happened. Poem time. Sorry, I've just seen the title. Put put her through a table, I would. Steel chair. Spark the bint. Yeah, we don't... I think we don't like Natsuki, do we? Sorry, I have to get into the mood. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. Snowvex Natsuki vs. Pip WWE WrestleMania. <laughs> I'd, yeah, I'd take it down. Why not? Just checking something. Yeah, sound levels are still cool. Hell in the Cell. It, well, it is coming up November, so that is Hell in the Cell time. Anyway... I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be... I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Let's set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. Poem on a chain match suspended above the ring this October at Doki Doki Wrestling Club. You know what? Mid-2000s WCW, that totally probably would have happened. Uh, you will be the beach, Natsuki. You weapons grade beach. Uh, yeah. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I've read this bit. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought you had left long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape... You'll learn to love yourself again.
Yeah, that, that was that was well. It was quite a nice poem, but as we've established, uh, Natsuki is a bitch. So, um, screw her. Um, beautiful poem. Yes, it was. Uh, I did realise you were a wrestling fan, Pippa. I like your style. Yeah. I did wrestling training at one point in an attempt to be a wrestler. Unfortunately, it went incredibly wrong, and I went and I bailed. Unfortunately. Uh. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write about something with a nice message for once. Oh, really? That's awesome. I'm glad you think so. Thank you. It, it, it was really fun. Uh, but uh, I ended up getting really hurt by another trainee, and I couldn't do it anymore. Uh, I want to be in a wrestling match sometime, because it seems fun. It's... Wrestlers are so... It, it's a level of fitness that... They, they are... They Yeah. Man, she's such a beach. That's right, Arugo. She totally is. Froggery, I actually wanted to be a wrestler at one point, but the damage isn't worth it. Uh, yeah, I would argue if you if you are not careful, you shorten your life expectancy a lot. Uh, we have a lot of examples of that. Uh, besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez, she better not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Who are they? I will knock them out. Uh, they probably still go to the same school. Uh, it's, you know, it's fine. It's, I'm over it. It's it's okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's a thing I just, I wish I'd done it like a decade ago. But it's, it's a bit too late now. Uh, I know a few people who are amateur grade. Oh, cool. Uh, Mick Foley is one of them wrestlers that want damage for some reason. Well, not anymore. Uh, we are, yeah, he's lucky to be in the relative health that he is. Uh, we are very lucky to have uh, Mick Foley. Welcome to the ring from Parts Unknown. Pip the Pizza Jacket Pip. Oh, I hope I would have a cooler nickname than that. Great to see someone playing my game in 2020. Graham is bad. Welcome, Graham is bad. Is this your game? Uh, yeah. If it is, uh, I'm enjoying your game. Thank you. Um, anyway. I programmed it. Oh, cool! Yeah. Uh, this is my first time playing it through. Uh, yeah, I've, I've never played this before. Uh, good job. Uh, everyone tell Graham is bad. Good job. He he programmed this. Uh, yeah. Have you seen his list of injuries he's had? He's, yeah, man's a beast. Yes, I've read McFoley's autobiography and it lists some. It's bad. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah, I'm enjoying this. It hasn't gone off the rails yet. I'm expecting it to any minute. Of all the games I'm playing in October, uh, I'm most scared of this one. Uh... Yeah, I saw his match where he got like 10 times in the head with a steel chair. Yeah, that was bad. Rock went off script uh, and in front of Mick Foley's whole family, it was actually kind of sick, actually. It's a cool game. I heard some of the later stuff was hard to coordinate, so major kudos. You dis Yeah, well done. Grave is bad. Well done. This is ace. Let us continue. Uh, you can really see her doing that too. Making his write about a simple topic and trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. You so do. I just did it anyway. It took us a year to make start to finish. Yeah, I'm not surprised because I, I, a lot of work went into this. You worked hard. You worked good. Well done. I, Yeah, I hope that's not coming across as speaking down or anything. This, Yeah, you are genuinely cool. Well done. I'm shocked you're in my chat, actually. Uh, yeah. Sorry, this is all very overwhelming. It's been a, a day. It's been a three weeks. Um, I can see why. However, Ernasuki. Yeah. Ernasuki, to give her her full name. Sorry. Graham is bad. Welcome to the chat. I'm glad you, you, you are taking joy from seeing someone still play the game that you worked very hard on in 2020. Um, yeah. Praise him. The most fun I had was with Mitsuki and Sayori. Oh, good. Right, let us continue. I just did it anyway. 
I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that was the last one. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Oh, I have tea left. This is good. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? <sighs> Monica is talking. Yeah, Natsuki, Monica is talking. Will you please shut up? Yeah? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Okay, it is very fun having people play the game for the first time. Yeah, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Stop being dramatic, girls. Yeah. Uh... We're playing through this completely blind, awesome game. I did Games Pro in Uni many moons ago, and it's not as easy as people think. Uh, I bet. Uh, I bet it's really hard. And some people tend to think, oh, you're making games for a living. That's fun. It's like, no, it's, it's really hard, very technical. The people who make it are incredibly talented artists. Uh, it seems you're right. Sigh. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. When I got my work, I had six months to program this entire game. Wow. That's another thing as well. I think some people don't appreciate how long it takes to make a game, uh, especially if it's a small indie one um, where it's like a very small team. I mean, like even AAA titles take upwards of like three, th four years these days. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, a lot of work goes into making games. Also, uh, a lot of human suffering <laughs> um, in your more AAA companies. Uh, Natsuki, please show some decency. Yeah, Natsuki. Oh, come on. Ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you've picked the time she's not feeling well. Yeah, Pipu, you asshole. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. Oh, she'll be fine. Will she, Grayson girl? I don't think she will. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. Uh, I did not use it until I had to make the game. Ah, oh, cool. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Who? That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. What expression is who? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. See, Monica says it's fine. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. Of course she'll be making cupcakes. To be fair, they're, they're good cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle all that by yourself? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, ellipses, Yuri, you can, uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Ellipses. N now, Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. 
I guess I never gave Sura enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can't also be leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know, so you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Mm, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression slowly changes. She stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Pipu. The one who is truly useless. Damn straight. Aha, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really, I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? Help your golf girl. <laughs> How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I won't mind a little bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice. You shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. <laughs> Yuri, follow the big titties. Yeah. Ugh, Nasuki. Yeah, she is so uh, Nasuki. I love it that that's become the catchphrase of the stream. I like it. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Hashtag uh, Nasuki. <laughs> Pipu may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance, which she does. Rizabin, Yuri, everyone is thirsty for the Yuri. I don't blame you. So, he may be more suited to assist him with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How could it... How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Pipu to... W what are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Pipu to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said, I'm I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Pipu, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Oh, I'm going to save a game <laughs> for no reason. Okay. <sighs> Should I continue with the big dick energy? Because, I mean, we are slightly worried about Sayori, aren't we? Yeah. <sighs> but, but, yeah, but big, big titty goff girl. Let the big titties guide you. I know, I know. Shall I tell you what? Uh, I could do... Yep, everyone is yelling for Yuri. Tell you what, I... Let's just cut game audio for a second. Damn it, I'm going to have to YouTube it. Probably, I'm going to... Yeah. I am going to go to the lavatory to think it through. I'll be literally just a couple of minutes. Uh, decide amongst yourselves, but it's looking like Yuri in it. Follow, follow the big titty goth girl. That's, yeah, basically me. So, be right back.
and we're back. Safe didn't take that long. Um, oh, Grayson girl, don't pee at a time like this. But it's all so exciting. Can't take it in. Right. Uh, yep, seconded. Follow your Schween big titty goth girl. Yeah, okay. Here is my analysis as I was peeing. If it was me, me, I would go Siori. However, this is Pipu. And as we've established, my anime counterpart is a dick. So we're prob yeah, we're going we yeah, we're following the big titty goth girl of our dreams. So let's get that screen back up and some sound. There we go. Boop. Pip Pipu does love big titty goth girls. Um a bit similar to uh non anime Bill, actually, Pipu. Anyway. Um, sorry, I'm just checking. I haven't got any emergency messages coming through on my phone because I've just noticed it has exploded. <laughs> Is this an emergency? Uh... Cool. Yes. It's fine. My phone's fine. Yep, we're going with uh, our dream girl because she is, of course, our one true love. Uh, also, looking at the time, I don't know how long you guys are willing to hang around with. I was thinking of being like light. I'm light ninja. I'm really depending on you for this one again. Uh, I am planning on going no longer than half ten. However, if you spot an optimum time to stop before then, please yell out in chat and we will stop. Uh, I was thinking, uh, because this isn't the longest game, uh, that it would finish. Uh, I think you'll be good. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, because I know this isn't a long game, but uh, I was thinking... Uh, I was going to finish this today, but then y'all were so bloody lovely and supportive and amazing throwing subscriptions at me left, right, and center. You people, this is your fault. I think you'll be good. Okay, well, just saying, you know, around half ten, if you're willing to hang with me. Until then. Oh, you wouldn't have beaten it today anyway, I don't think. Fair enough, yeah, fair enough. Uh, yes. So, yeah, if you yeah if you see an appropriate place to stop, just yell, because uh, and uh, we'll stop, uh, and then I'll go to doing some admin stuff, uh, and shut the sh chat down. I'm still so overwhelmed. You guys are wonderful. <laughs> Sorry, just practicing. Cool. Anyway, let's go help. Let's back on track. Channel the big dick energy. Let's uh, go uh, help the woman of our dreams. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? Why would you, Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. How can you tell if Natsuki's gonna say something mean? Her mouth is open. Ugh, Natsuki. N no, I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Pipu? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Yuri. I mean, I, that's I'm good. That's what I'm going to do is help Yuri. Uh, I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Okay, who the hell is that? <laughs> yeah. Now you see, it's the same color font that Light Ninja was earlier, so I suspect it might be him. Oh my, 60 days with that username. Yes, I hope the joke is worth it. <laughs> Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking by yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Now, in fact, that's I've been meaning to ask. Sorry, to, sorry to just stop this mid-rail, but you know that's happening a lot with this. Uh, 
Arugaru, the, uh, yeah, also Arugaru, I should probably say hello. Not me, bro. Not me, bro. Okay, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> um, yes. What I was about to ask. Arugaru, the emote you've just used, is that Total Biscuit? Because it looks a little bit like him, bless him. Yeah. Weird factoid, I used to know Total Biscuit in real life because we worked at Game Sheffield Debnams together uh, before when he was just doing WoW Radio. Uh, we worked at Game together. Um, yeah. He was an interesting fellow uh, and it was very sad when, uh, uh, unfortunately, that Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, I, I used to work with him when he worked at game. That's pretty damn cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty damn cool. Shame what happened. Really good guy. Yeah, he was a, he was an interesting guy. Very uh, opinionated on a lot of things, but also he was he was quite sound as well. Uh, R.I.P. Total Biscuit. Uh, right. New people that knew him from Insomnia. Uh, yeah, uh, sad times. Sorry. Sorry to derail and make everyone sad. Uh, let's carry on with this completely not emotional game. Uh, yeah, but that was that was a thing I was meaning to ask because I spot that emo a while ago. Um, yeah, I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. She's always feeling a little sour. It's a default state. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. I bet. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the same way, Pipu? Yes! Uh, uh, me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Netsuki? Ellipses. Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Pipu picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... I'm out of tea, damn. So, I get it, I get it. Two reasons, UT. Yuri, yeah. <laughs> Minecourt, yeah. I'm kind of surprised, though. But why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. Your tea. Yes, her tea. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica Ryan also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um, eh? I turn around. Sorry, I realised that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? So smooth. I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then... I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. By the way, the soundtrack of this game kind of slaps. Yeah, I, I like it. Is is it loud enough? Uh, 
because I want to be... Cl- I don't know what's up with my mic, because this is a really good mic. I literally used this to record a podcast yesterday, and it was fine and loud. If, if anything, it was too loud. Um, as long as you guys can hear me and can still hear the game, that, that's fine. Uh, eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house, since I'm the one helping you. Hazy Magic, it's at a good level. Thank you. Do you use an amp with it, or just into the PC directly? Uh, just into the PC directly at the minute. It's a USB mic, because that's literally all I have. And it's better than this mic on my headset, because it turns out uh, this headset mic is trash. So I'm using my what I usually use for uh, vocal recording. What did Pip say? Can't sound... Don't, don't, don't do that to me. I will have a panic attack. You should just use a compressor and gain in Streamlabs. Well, currently I'm using uh, OBS and a friend of mine, a uh, friend of the channel, uh, I think her username's... Well, I know her as, as Ree, but it's Romeo Echo Alpha, I believe. Uh, she showed me her Streamlabs setup, and it seems to be way easier. So I might... I'm considering stopping using OBS and going over Streamlabs because uh, it just seems a bit easier. Uh, seriously, guys, don't... Light Ninja, don't do this to me, buddy. Don't do this to me. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of upgrading my mic because I have a cheapo $30 one. Yeah, this is what I used for voiceover work, so uh, it... it about, I think this one I got it on sale for about 90 quid, but it's it's a good mic. It'll do you until you get a proper condenser one. Uh, that's a Yeti Blue, that one. Most people seem to use one. Right. Anyway, uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like I should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. And also that my penis is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Pipu. I think that will make a very productive team, even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Uh, you may have to take down the your shrine in your room. That might be weird. I know. Aren't girls impressed with weird, creepy stalker shrines uh, in in bedrooms? Got to keep the little man hygiene. Don't forget to wash your sheets and your penis. If anyone gets that reference, you'll I'm I will be impressed. It's a pull. It's all women want. Cool. See, Pippa will be fine. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? Ellipses. I, I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason... You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I do. I follow the big dick energy to the big titty off girl. Wait for the next stream where Skeleton has a purple wig. He's flat. He doesn't have a head. Maybe. But, but, I need to get Skeld in a better name tag anyway. But, but, Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? Wow, racist. Skeletons aren't a race. Eh, I didn't realise. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Skellist. <laughs> Do you believe me? I. Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? 
Only time will tell. Oh, my sweet summer child. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. I'm going to go right home and masturbate. It's Pipu. He would. It's already Sunday. Let me get... uh, I have not drank nearly enough water today. <sighs> Hydrate. It's already Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Monster truck rally. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. No shit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Rizabine, hydrate! Yes, don't forget to hydrate. I not. I usually have to drink a full one of them a day because of the diet I'm on, and I have not done that today. If you don't, you'll add an extra T into words at random. Yeah. Hydrate. Yeah. See? Drink water. That'll correct your spelling. Yuri is clearly an introvert, and I'm, and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've be we've even been texting occasionally. Oh, you, Pipu, you dog. Uh, speaking of text, I, I am just checking my phone again. Yes, it's fine. Everything's fine. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worrying about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over. Much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. I'm going to put my slippers on because my feet are getting cold. Sorry. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's house like we're family. The house is quiet. Yay, I've been looking... Hi, cat in the hat. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were hit there. Oh, bugger. I didn't know I moved it that much. There we go. Yes, cool. Uh, yes. We're all good. Uh, popping in whilst the husband tapes up my back. Oh, well, so what's up with your back? I hope it's okay. Uh, the house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her to not run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Uh, Sayori? Ooh, big cow. Ah. Hi, Pipu. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. Oh my god, I thought that was going to be horrid. Me, yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I won't lie. <laughs> Bit nervous. Oh, she has a spider plant on the windowsill. So do I. Oxygenates the air, don't you know? Well, I had a minor operation on my skin on my back. I needed redressing and check my stitches. Oh, well, I hope uh, I hope it's uh, healing okay and that you are okay. Um, I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Eh, hey, hey. If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how did you know that? Sorry, I'd already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Uh, Luna Wolbe, what's your plant's name, Pip? Okay, weirdly, uh, the spider plants have not got a name because I got them for their functionality. But you're right, they do deserve names. Um, I'm trying to remember my plants. I have lots. I have quite a few plants. I forgot my plants' names. Uh, one second. This is because girls know everything. It's all fun and games, but it's always good. Uh, I could run around and look at my plants' names for you, but we need to crack on. I will. Uh, oh, now I'll look them up. It's fine. Give the people what they want. Uh, which is... 
cards. Right, the, uh, <laughs> why are spider plants functional? Because they oxygenate the air, um, like, more so, that, like, they cleanse it even more than normal plants. Uh, yeah, Monique, Jim, I remember those ones. Uh, Monique, yeah, it's, uh, Jim Plank, well, Jim and Plank are on, in my office. Uh, Jim and Plank, Vera, Lester, Orson, and Monique are my plants, so. I think Jim is mine, he is such a Jim, yes. Right. Monica told me. Of course Monica told you. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Dot, dot, dot. Yep. There's more silence between us. Suri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. <laughs> Call it Yuri. <laughs> I just wanted to see how you were doing. Well, surely, like, a watermelon plant would be more appropriate for Yuri. Mm -hmm. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sorry smile, shaking her head. That's no good, Pipu. Eh? Why can't it just like... Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been... You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. What? Well, no. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Eh heh heh. Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So, tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Ah ha ha. Sorry gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Pipu. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? Eh heh heh. You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Pipu? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Kind of, I feel like this game is going to escalate quickly. It's, yeah, I think the coaster is just going down. Uh, did you know that? Why don't you, why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Oh, Sayori, you're not worthless. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy into caring to waste uh, by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. Ellipses. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Suri kept this from me this entire the entire time that I've known her? Hashtag mood, yeah. I'm, yeah. Hmm. Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Pipu. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet. When people try to care about me, it feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ahaha. Uh -huh. 
That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. Oh, So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ah ha ha. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. Jeez, this got deep. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, it's... it. I guess these are the uh, triggering tones it touches. Uh, that's what I'll do. No, Pipu. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But that was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Oh, sweetie. Uh, without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Aha. Uh -huh. Pipu. Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you've convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Pipu, Sayori isn't hugging back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Pipu, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Ellipses. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Siri put, finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Pipu. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want, I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry, wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Cancel them, brah! Maybe I should cancel. Yes! No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, you want to come along and help us out. It would be fun. To my surprise, Shiori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Yeah, this is... Ooh, this has got... Uh, yeah. I scarily relate to a lot of that. Um, I say goodbye to Siori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Siori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. And we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Yeah. Won't lie, my enthusiasm for Big Titty Goth Girls has kind of deflated a little bit. And um, I need a... Yeah, just have a moment.
Is everyone okay in chat? I just need to check that you're okay. Um, yes, I, yeah. WhatsApp. Yep, I've got that. Cool. Right. Okay, cool. Yes, I know where when this will end. Uh I feel we all need a hug after that. Genuinely anyone who is affected by this and doesn't know the full story, please be aware the themes continue. Yeah, legit just yeah, uh, legit disclaimer that was gentle. Yes, as we said, uh this is triggering. I I understand that. Um if some people want to bail, that is absolutely fine. Uh Yeah, this this is yeah, the themes continue and as I say there are some triggering themes to do with both anxiety and depression, uh both of which I have. But uh yeah, I could talk more about it, but I'm trying to make this entertaining. Uh, just so you're aware, the warnings at the start of the game are very much there for a reason. They are. Um, I'm still planning on continuing this. Uh, as I say, if you need to bail or, or message me in private, I will happily talk about it. Because I know for a fact uh, that some of the themes in here do relate to me. Uh, I Yes. So, if anyone, we're in this together, yes we are, but if anyone, I'm not going to talk about it on stream, because at the end of the day, I know I'm, I know I'm emotionally honest, uh, you know, this is supposed to be entertaining, I guess, but this is dark themes in this game, um, so if anyone wants to chat to me personally, we can do that, um, but uh, we are going to press on as long as everyone is okay, and I'm okay. Uh, it's an amazing game, but it's heavy salad. Yes, I agree. Pip, make sure you're okay too. We don't mind if you decide it's not for you. Thank you. No, um, I'm willing to carry on. Um, holds hands. Yes. I said I was scared of this game for a reason, but um, uh, I have been informed of an end point uh, that is coming up where we can cut it off. You guys are wonderful and give yourselves hugs. We're going to persist and at least finish this session, okay? Yuri? Oh, that is a nice swear. Big hugs, everyone with lots of boob. I appreciate that, thank you. I'm sure everyone appreciates that. Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You could have always texted me. On a separate note, when are you having channel point rewards? Uh, the moment I learn how to do them. So maybe, Frog and Ree, you and I could have a conversation um, incredibly soon. Because I didn't expect any of this to happen so quick. So I need to learn stuff quick. So maybe I would appreciate help with that. Um... Luna B, we are here for you. Heck, I think I might need it too if this gets too deep. Pressure and anxiety are dicks. Yes, they are. We can give these points. Can we give these points to Pip? Yeah, sure. I'll give you a hand. Thank you. Uh, we'll see. But, uh, yes, give points. Uh, you could always have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Uh, anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Ahaha. Ah, ha. I cleaned it before you came over, so 
That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. That's where the shrine is, obviously. Wife material. Oh, she's that. Yeah, she looks fabulous. Uh huh. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. It's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, uh, oh, um, I have a crush on a goth girl uh, in real life. So Yuri is right up my alley. She's right up everyone's alley. She is amazing. So, so we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Smoke machines. Atmospheric enhancements. You know, mood lighting, aerobotherapy candles. I have a thing for that re-girl, but I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> m m maybe start a Twitch channel together, dude. Big disco balls. Yeah, every poetry re recital needs disco balls. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. That's what I was thinking. I mean, I'm currently named Frog and no one else. Bless you. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is, is that so? That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this. It's a diffuser for essential oils. Snowvex suspicious wooden object. Yes, I'm so glad I'm not the only one whose mind went to the gutter on that one. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favourite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils and herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapour begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Uh, don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? Uh, oh, Snovex, uh, to be honest, Yuri should be a salesman for aroma stuff. I want to buy stuff now. It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with, any with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah, what will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. 
Yuri giggles with her red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Pipu. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. All right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh, the knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Have you ever considered reading children's book for CBeebies? I, I, I have done VO work in the past, but it's mainly for Cornucopia Radio, who do comedy and drama and stuff. Um, that is yet another thing I keep meaning to look into, and I have not had the time. So I really should. Uh, but thank you. Uh, I'm glad you think my voice is suitable for CBeebies. Um, if Pip, uh, Froggery, if Pip did that and every so often went, Big titty golf girls, I think he'd lose his job. <laughs> Possibly. Yes, I don't think that would make it on Jack and Ori now, would it? Um, it looks really fancy. Uh huh. Well, embarrassed. Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright, the thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. That's not worrying at all. Um, uh, I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Snowvex, I mean, I can understand that knives are cool. Well, they are cool. But casually dropping it into a conversation when you're in a room alone with someone. Uh, Rebel Robin. Nope. Yeah. I thought goth girls were into candles, not knives. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Uh-huh. I repeat, you'll want a big titty goth girl till it gets weird. <laughs> Look, guilty as charged, yeah. Yeah, it's not like I go telling everyone about my weird ass hobbies like that. Roller coaster going over the threshold, yes. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah. It's kind of intense. Ah. Uh, besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? It relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Oh god, where is this going? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri, Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Pipu? Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. Yeah, Pipu is a dumbass. Yeah, not a smart thing to do. Uh, it's it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah, she stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Aha. Uh -huh. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. This isn't, like, weirdly sexual or kinky, isn't it? That's what you do with a cut. Oh, yes. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. <sighs> Yuri proceeds to abruptly place the knife to push the throat and says, If you touch my wrist again, I will end you. I'm honestly expecting that place to go. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, oh. Please forgive me. Twilight, what are you, Yuri? Vampire. Possibly. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and took me by surprise. 
but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, Snowvex, and that's how you transmit diseases. Yes. And she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. This is going places. Get a room, you two. They're in a room. Uh, does she not understand social distancing? I don't think... Yeah. This is before... This is in the, from the before times, in the long, long ago. Pipu. D did you really just do that? Now we're even. Yuri looks at me like I did something wrong. Yana, I'm here for horror, not porn. <laughs> Punches Pipu. <laughs> Ew, prick. Yeah. Ah ha ha, I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Pew Pew. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah. I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Don't listen to them, Pew Pew. Yeah. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We reach. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Azuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out by si lay them out side by side. He's appreciating your kick, Azuri. <laughs> Gosh. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good. Thinking coming up. Uh, good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint labels. Ah, that's right. One of these items had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking your advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips and bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come into Yuri, quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, I can see... I see that. Mm. No, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping each into the cups. So... I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. So I like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colours for a sunrise, then a daytime, then a sunset, and a nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colours across the banner to serve as a colour guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolours feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah. I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just, it's just, uh, I just like when I can spend time with one other person, even if it's something simple like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes me, uh, makes, uh, to me, makes me, Makes things feel a diff a little bit nicer. God, my... Yeah, we might finish after this day because my tongue is 
wedding. Um, I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games. Oh god, Pippi with the anime. Where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. Tongue twister, yes. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Oh, how cute. Oh, highlighted message. If you want to finish at half ten latest, you can finish it at the end of Sunday. Yes, I think that is what I'm intending on doing, White Ninja. Thank you for being on guard. I appreciate you. Ka, sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yes, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel. Then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh, wow. Mm. Here. I pat, Yuri's, I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Yes, it is. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer? These eyes, damn. That's an angle. I know you could get lost in them. It feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a dazed, enveloped by her own thoughts. She's breathing gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was a moment ago. Ah, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it begun. Our second moment. Uh, Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that looks like stars. Friend zoned. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I finish, uh, looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it there and then, then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. Ah ha You say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. It was a little concerned. I, I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. I bet you were, you dog. Well, Yuri thinks to herself, I, I think it would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah, so I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. Dinner greater than pee. <laughs> yes, Sally, yes. Uh, gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Dot, dot, dot. 
Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out to the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you don't like going out much. So I gotta go sleep. Good point. Is to go is the end of Sunday. See ya. Yeah, we are literally just wrapping up. So thank you, Snovex, for dropping in the stream. Uh, it's a delight as always. Good night. Sleep well. Ah, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumbled over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Pipu. No, he's not. He's an asshole. Yuri takes a step close to me, then I brief and then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Oh! Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, me and my anime self are weirdly linking up far too much. I don't like it. How am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori? Eh? Ah. Hi, Pipu. Sayori. Just now, we, we weren't... Eh, hey, hey. It's okay, Pipu. I just stopped by to say hi. Hmm. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so that's so that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori. I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ha, huh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What you're talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Pipu? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Pipu. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have had to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Ellipses. Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your, your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. That's something... It's something that uh, I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Suri looks away. But I put her hand on my shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Pipu. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori, it's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Pipu, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. Oh. I'm honestly a bit flabbergasted, guys. Uh, <sighs> it's 
Yeah, all the all the thoughts are rushing through my head right now. That is going through chat right now. Is it worse to lie? Truth also hurts. Hardest decision in the game. I'm gonna save. <laughs> Pip, I'm going to DM you. It's not a spoiler, but it will help. Okay, I appreciate that. I am awaiting your message. Right. That helps a lot. Thank you. Uh... What do you feel is the best choice, Pip? Uh, uh, you could always stop here and leave it to a poll. Oof. You see, the problem is, is when we were going into this game, we were playing an anime douche. However, this game has far... A lot of feels. A lot of feels I, and issues I relate with a lot for the two main reasons. Our old friends, anxiety and depression. Um... And with the knowledge of what has been sent to me, you have helped. You've helped a lot, uh, Grace and Girl. Thank you for that. With that knowledge, I could be a douche and end it. Like end the stream here. It is after half ten. Yeah, it gets you in... L no, I care about these characters. I know I'm making out the, you know, you know, my one true love and all that and stuff. I'm invested in the story. Oh, yeah, it's a bit mean to end it on a cliffhanger. Okay, I'm going to pick... I'm going to go with the honest... Honest answer. As regular Pip leaks into Pipu. I'm going to go for that. Because I don't know how the other one in my own head will be interpreted. I, f I feel a supportive friend is more... In uh, and that's another factor. I love you like I love you or I love you like a sibling. Don't I don't know. Um, I mean, you know, I love I love my friends. I can legitimately say that because I, I do. Um... But I don't think that's what she's inkling to. They do. Um, I'm going to go for this one. With the knowledge and everything. And to finish this up. Because we need to finish this day. Monica told me the truth. I don't think they're full I, uh, No, I mean the other type of love thing. Possibly. But yeah. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. But please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. I, I see. So he forces a smile for an incredibly pained expression. Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sorry. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please. Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time. There's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right that I want it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You re you really do know me better than anyone, Pipu. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, Sorry's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sorry looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before running around and t turning around and running off. I'm left helplessly standing 
at the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sarah through her feelings and help her on the path that is right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sarah's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sarah will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. And we are stopping here, because this is Monday, so. Let's cut game audio, and. <sighs> uh, I hate that you're stopping here. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, but I did say uh, I would end around half ten and I yes I agree it's I agree that is a place to stop there um also to be honest my shoulder is getting really tight and I could do with a lay down is everyone okay <laughs> uh when are you streaming next uh right yes move on um I am next planning on streaming Thursday Heck, even Skeldon looks shocked. Yeah, you okay, buddy? It's gonna be fine. Yeah. Right, admin. Uh, I am. What I was in. Okay, we're good. Good. I'm. I'm good that you're good. You're out Thursday, bugger. Well, it could. It won't be live, but you could watch it on catch up. Um. Thursday this week sounds good. Yes, I am planning on streaming Thursday, uh, probably around the same time. Um, what I have going through my mind right now, because I, I initially thought I was finishing this game tonight. Uh, thank you for the stream, Pip. Looking forward to the next one. I've had time to escape. The, yeah, uh, I'll have time to escape the deepness of this. Well, we have two options, because, like I say, I initially thought... Um, I was going to finish this game tonight because I, I heard it was quite short. Obviously not that short. Uh, I can't see to where this goes. That's the thing that's carrying on is I'm quite invested in the characters and the story. Um, whatever effect is it's having on me. Uh, and it is covering important issues in a way which a lot of media doesn't do i've loved this evening i've loved both of them well thank you little wolf bay i i appreciate that i appreciate you um as i was saying we could either do part three of this on thursday or because i thought i was finishing today i was planning on doing a one shot of dead by daylight uh because that's what I seem to be doing, is between playthroughs, I'm doing one-shots. Um, so we could do that and have a break uh, from this. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the next one. It feels like we're all going on a journey. Uh, and then we can end on something cheesy. Doki Doki. As biased as I am, not here Thursday. Um, yeah, I'm sorry you're not here Thursday. Uh, but, it's yeah, I have to kind of try and stick to a schedule. Uh, it's just, it's your fault for being so gosh darn popular uh, and busy. Um, yeah, so Thursday. Okay, everyone seems to be fine with progressing the story. And I'm fine with that. As long as you're okay, I'm okay. I am okay. Just to assure you, I am okay. Uh, yeah, everyone's doki doki. I mean, this is it is a fantastic, well-made game, and I'm not just saying that because one of the programmers dropped in to say hi. That that was a thing that transpired in this channel. Okay, so Thursday, uh, probably half seven again. Uh, we'll be carrying this on here at House Broken Geek. Uh, thank you for going through this story with me i'm not sure i could do this on my own and i'm very glad you're here so uh yes please remember to follow and if you can i hope you're uh hope you're okie dokie with doki doki i am i'm i'm fine i'll be fine 
as long as you are okay, dude, it does cover some serious topics, and I don't want to trigger you. No, I don't. I don't think I'm. I'm. I'm in a good place at the minute. Uh, I seriously, I, I'm fine. I am fine. Maybe message you later, but I am fine. Uh, great stream again. Thank you, Arugaro. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you. Second, I hope my message helps remember it. I yes, I I will. I'll I, I'll probably end up messaging you all individually at some point anyway. Um, I, again, I can't believe I'm saying this already. Uh, thank you very much to my subscribers. Uh, there you are on the wall. So thank you, Yana, the Light Ninja, Hazy Magic, Zelk89, Luna Wallbay, Rebel Robin, Laura Leishton, Grayson Girl, Snovext, VTX, and Frog and Ree. Um, I feel that this has been your best yet. Well, we have a part three to do, so the bar has been officially raised. Um, th thank you for joining me. Still don't have a sign off. So, following this, I'll say, I hope you're okay. Uh, my messages, my inbox is open if, if you have details of that. Also, hashtag Bullet Club. Too sweet. Um, yeah, whatever you're doing, uh, I believe in you. You can do the thing. Um. Uh, Bye. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you Thursday. This is just getting awkward now. Uh, oh, Ria said, love his shirt. Thank you. I love Ria's everything, so say hi from me. Uh, Frog and Ria, I will message you probably tomorrow about the things. Uh, the pizza kimono, she means. Yes, pizza kimono for, for life. See you later, guys. Uh, it's been fun, and we'll do it again Thursday. So, see you later. Bye.